Do you feel stressed with umpteen priorities, a lot of emails bombarding your inbox, a continuous flow of activities, inability to find time to step back and to look at your life in a much more holistic fashion, to see what your purpose could be on this earth, what could be your biggest contribution to yourself and to those around you. If you are a corporate executive like me, I'm sure your life is like this. The question is, can you take time to step back and to relook at all this flow of activity and to restructure and to redesign your life in a different way? For me, this journey started suddenly, unexpectedly. I had a dream long years ago, which stuck in my subconscious and would not leave me. It kept pushing me at the back of my head as if the whole universe was pushing me to do something. Initially, I ignored it, but with time, I realized that there was a meaning in this dream. I experienced myself being a fly, yes, a common house fly, sitting on a side of a cartwheel. Now, I as a fly didn't know this. I was just moving up and down in a circular sort of motion. I could experience this motion and in some way I attributed my actions, my thinking to this motion, feeling happy and sad as I moved up or down. Now this went on for some time till this part of the dream ended and I could see suddenly the entire cart probably moving town to town and I realized that my movement was an outcome of a much larger movement on which I had no control. All the feelings that I was ascribing to about happiness and sadness were all created by forces larger than me. I was just experiencing an illusion of free will. Well, initially, I thought it was a pretty silly dream and tried to ignore it. But then, when the universe wants you to do something, it implants these ideas in your head and they keep pushing you at the back of your head and then started my journey of really questioning who am I? Do I have free will? Why am I doing what I am doing? Could I do things differently? And all my work and questioning over the years has finally resulted in this book, A Fly on the Cartwheel. It's many, many years of introspection, reflection on life, on our day-to-day -day experiences. It sinks into science, philosophy, psychology. It studies the matter from a scientific aspect, from a spiritual aspect, tries to merge both these thought processes. And this whole experience of mine, very enriching for me, over the years resulted in some deep insights which shocked me. And if you were to follow through the same thinking and the same logic that I will take you through, I assure you, it will tend to make you question your own life assumptions and look at your life very differently. So I encourage you and invite you on this journey on Like a Fly on the Cartoon.